Hello, everyone. My name is Karolas Szablauskas, and I'm a medical doctor in the Netherlands. So echocardiography, or heart ultrasound, is the heart gold standard for diagnosing heart disease early. Now, due to the fact that uh, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the US and most of Europe, patients have to wait around five weeks to get the testing done. And this is the problem that we are trying to solve. So here you can see an ultrasound image of the heart and full disclosure, the first time I saw it in my practice, it was really confusing. But our software takes hundreds of these images. It automatically measures the relevant structures and that information is attached to the patient dossier. So this reduces the examination time by half because around 50% of the total test time is just pushing buttons, but it also keeps the accuracy consistent. And the time reduction allows the hospitals to perform more tests during the same time. Now, compared to other similar solutions, we are the only ones that cover all the required measurements in standard echocardiography protocol. We also have access to a vast database of cardiac images. And we integrate with existing ultrasound machines, so you don't need to change your hardware. Uh, currently, we have received our bioethics board approval, and we are starting our clinical trial next month. And we are looking at C certification, which is equivalent to FDA approval in the US later next year. So if you want to collaborate on AI and heart ultrasound research, or you want to integrate the tool into your software or you're looking to invest, please reach out to me. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so one of the first questions uh, that comes to mind is, could you just kind of explain uh, what to a hospital it means to kind of have this twofold increase or twofold decrease in examination time in terms of just their throughput or kind of um, the, the FT's time that's, that's involved. Yeah, yeah, so I could tell you from the physician's perspective that in the cases that you want to perform this test, and usually you have to wait five weeks for your patient to actually come back with the results, except if it's an emergency case, but you cannot send every patient uh, with emergency priority, so to say. So this rela directly relates to reduced mortality from the cardiac diseases, because the er earlier you catch something, uh, the more chances you have to treat the patient. And actually our goal is to reduce the patient wait times, maybe not by half, but at least to three weeks so that they can get tested faster. Got it. Um, and, and so the reason that you couldn't reduce it down to zero is, is basically that you still need kind of a, a, a human in the loop, so to speak, to, to look at the results of, of your algorithm to understand uh, what, what to do about it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, ideally, uh, the physician only looks through the results. If he agrees with them, he can uh, already change the treatment or dis discharge the patient. And we actually do put this information in the report. Okay, fantastic. And then maybe a couple other questions I just want to touch on. Uh, one was, um, it seems like having access to data is one of the largest challenges uh, in your field. Could you speak yeah. a bit about the data that you're using? Kind of, is it proprietary to, to, your, um, uh, to your company? Uh, yeah, so we have a partnership with the biggest hospital in the Baltics, so Lithuanian University of Health Sciences in Konas. And I'm also working on a partnership in a hospital here in the Netherlands. So... Yeah, so we already have access to a lot of data. Hopefully, we will get access to, to more of it. And uh, all of the images are anonymized. So yeah, so that's to ensure the, the patient safety. And uh, yeah. Got it. And then maybe one, uh, one of the questions that I would have is, um, given the amount of information uh, on a per patient basis that you have, uh, what other um, uh, interesting signals might you be able to put, pick up on? So if you were to generalize beyond what's currently uh, uh, sort of used uh, in, in this context, 
um, what might you're all going to be able to kind of additionally see that that most uh, people would not would not see a normal course of um, observation. Yeah, yeah. So one of the research fields in AI medicine is seeing if you can predict the disease before you have those really obvious signatures. And it turns out that for some disorders, this is certainly possible. And because we also have the anonymized clinical data, we can see what kind of diseases have de developed for those patients. And this is that we are act what we are actually trying to do. So matching the imaging data to what happens to the patient, let's say in five years or something, and that you are prepared for those things. Exciting. I think one last question from the audience. Uh, what kind of problems would you face getting adoption uh, around the world, for example, in the US? Um, yeah, so one of the things is certainly the aspect whether the doctors trust these kinds of systems. Because if you look at the market, uh, certainly for other applications, for example, chest x ray, CT scanners, MRIs. There are a lot of solutions uh, on the market right now, but sometimes it's difficult to convince the doctor to trust the algorithm uh, that gives you a result without, without providing some supporting material. So with this in mind, we are really trying to color all of these things on the image uh, that led us to some specific uh, diagnoses. So once a physician looks at the results, he can also have uh, some supporting information. And yeah, regulatory approval is also uh, one of the issues. And for example, in, in the European Union, in order to get the certification for medical software uh, that's related to AI, you have to go the same path as you would for the full ultrasound machine. So in our case, we are looking at medical device uh, certification, even though we are software. But uh, yeah, they are looking to change these things a bit. So maybe introducing specific certification for AI solutions. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for the presentation. Okay, thank you.